I just love that Surefire has come out with a new turbo line of lights that has good lumen output, but super high candela output. But if you're choosing between the 18650 version and the 18350 version, how much are you really giving up to go with the smaller version? Well, to take a look at the specs, you don't give up a whole lot. According to the specs, this has 700 lumens, this has 650 lumens, this has 100,000 candela, this has 95,000 candela. Of course, you would expect to have a lower runtime with the 18350 version, and that is reflected in Surefire's 45 minute rating versus 165 minutes for the larger. Now, both these lights mount up the same way. Both these lights have the same ecosystem for, for tail cap switches or remotes. These lights set the standard for the aftermarket. So you can expect to get everything you would need as far as accessories for these. One area where they do differ, at least in my searching, the smaller version, I was having a hard time finding it any cheaper than the larger version. What I found was the 18650 version on Midway USA was 323 and the 18350 version was 359. So as usual, I ran both of these lights in the integrating sphere and that collects the total light output of the light for as long as it runs. And the results are kind of what I expected, which is the larger light had a longer runtime. It has a larger area underneath the curve and that is because the 18650 battery has a significantly larger charge holding capacity. The smaller light settles into about 375 lumens and it does that for about the first 45 minutes, which is also respectable, especially for being a light with an 18350 battery. Now having a lot of light for a long amount of time, if I can get it for free, I'll take it, but I want as much of the light as I can get as early as I can get it, and I would sacrifice runtime for higher output earlier, so let's take a look at the first 10 minutes. Well, the larger version gives me about 470 lumens, and it drops down to that within about two minutes. So it drops down pretty quickly, unfortunately. The smaller light drops a little bit lower. It drops down to about 385 lumens, and it does that also within about two minutes. Again, I wish that the output was a little bit longer at over 800 lumen mark. Unfortunately, these are not, not tuned for or not able to produce that. I think that Surefire possibly could keep these up over 600 lumens for the first 10 minutes. Yes, they may run hotter, and, but it's a rifle light. This may be sitting right out by your muzzle. You should not be having your hand touching that anyway. So in the first 10 minutes, you give up about 85 lumens going with this smaller light. You may wonder whether we're sponsored by Surefire or any other light manufacturer. The answer is no. At Works, we design and build precision fit holsters for pistols with lights because everyone deserves to defend those they love day or night. And you know, if you're running a rifle light, you're probably also running a weapon light on your pistol. I invite you to check out the holster lineup at works.com and see if we have anything that might fit your needs. So in our warehouse space, to be honest, these lights performed almost identically. I think you would have a hard time telling a difference without lab measuring equipment which light was which. One other thing to point out on our warehouse footage is just how hot the hotspot is and how there is less flood with these lights than you would get with some other lights. For instance, the Streamlight ProTac 2.0. Now Candela was virtually identical again. The larger battery version had slightly more Candela at the very start, but it soon dropped down and three seconds in, uh, this one had slightly more candela. It's only very slightly. Essentially, these are identical performing in terms of candela. So we have two main ways of measuring the quality of light output. The first is something called CRI or color rendering index, which is a way of determining how well the light produces the full spectrum of color so that that color can be reflected back to our eyes and we can see colors accurately. Most pistol rifle lights tend to fall in the 65 to 74, 75 range, and these lights are pretty much that. I'll also show you the TM30, which shows you a circle, and it shows essentially how far 
away from the circle the light spectrum is on each of these lights. The mini light was just over 6,000 Kelvin. The larger light was almost 6,400 Kelvin. I don't know if that would be a reason why I'd choose one versus the other. And to be honest, based upon our X300 turbo testing, my guess is that this is just a random variance. There is variance in terms of the manufacturing quality of the LEDs, and you may get an 18650 version that has great CRI, great color temperature, or you may get a 18350 version that is not so good. The color temperature is not bad. CRI is, is, could be better. I'd like to see it over 70. So that's the data. How would I choose? Well, if I needed the runtime, or if I found this one to be cheaper, the 18650 version, I would run it. But if I needed the rail space and runtime was not as big an issue for me, I'd run that 18350 version and be very happy about it. I don't think at the range, you got a buddy running the 18650 version and you're running the 18350 and you keep the batteries topped up, I don't think you'll ever be able to tell the difference when you're running the class. I hope this video helps you make a better decision as to which of these lights to run. And remember, dark times call for light bearing holsters. This is Shan from Work signing off. Thank you and have a blessed day.